Hey, just want to say congratulations if you're watching this video. You've probably just put your house under contract and now you're saying, uh, hey, Tom, a little freaked out. What happens next? What do I need to do? Let me check all of these boxes and make sure I do this right. So I'm going to walk you through it. Make sure you're super comfortable with this phase of the process. Now, this is where the most action is going to happen. So um, let's go through all of it. First thing, you're going to get an email. It's going to have a breakdown of who the checks are that you need to make out to, how much they're for, all that kind of stuff. Our admin's going to reach out and they're going to tell you how you get those checks to the right place and make sure that, uh, that you've got the right amounts and everything else. So they will contact you. And this is important that these are taken care of quickly. You have three days, according to the contract, to turn these checks in, your earnest money and your option money. And if you don't do that, the contract's not binding. Now, if you do this for the earnest money, contract's binded. If you don't for the option, you have no option period, so your earnest money's at risk. So this is very important that we get these checks in. Okay, once that's done, then you need to uh, schedule your inspections, right? So you just put a house under contract you probably haven't lived in for the last couple years, and so you don't know the ins and outs of it. So you wanna have somebody that knows what they're doing to come in, check all those major things, make sure it works right. So there are a couple different kinds of inspection. There's your typical home inspection. Uh, this ranges anywhere from 300 to 450 bucks. There is a wood destroying insect uh, inspection that you can do, which uh, is basically when somebody comes out, they check to see if there are any termites or carpenter ants, things like that, or if there have been. Uh, that's typically about a hundred bucks. And then if you have a pool, you can do a pool inspection. These range anywhere from 75, 250 bucks, uh, depending on who you use. So anyways, we are going to have a list of fantastic inspectors that our past clients have used and that we feel very comfortable um, with uh, providing you with. Now, you don't have to use anybody on our list, to be very clear about that, but these are people that we've used before and, um, and we do recommend. So once that's done, you get those scheduled. Not a lot happens until the inspectors come out and do their thing. Now, we can also get a foundation inspector out there. Those are free and a roof inspection as well. So once all those are taken care of, you know what you're dealing with, you know the ins and outs of your house, um, we always recommend that you show up for the inspection at the end. Uh, you don't, don't need to be there for the whole thing because it's gonna be very boring and you're just gonna bug the crap out of the uh, inspectors. But you wanna show up at the end when they know everything and can walk you through it. And your agent should be there as well. And so once you guys see everything, you can talk about, hey, you know, these are the important items that need to be fixed by the seller or they need to give us some kind of concession so we can get these fixed when we moved in, right? And so once all of the inspections are done, we've got all the information, you guys will talk about it with your agent and then they will put together an amendment. So this amendment is the one that says we need A, B, C, and D to move forward on this. And so once that negotiation's hashed out, then you can move forward uh, to the next step. You're out of option period, everything's solidified, you're buying a house, right? Now. One other thing, this is very, very important. I should have mentioned this earlier, but it's very important that you shop your insurance during your option period. And you say, Tom, why? I've got 30 days before I close this thing. Well, there are certain types of claims, and if there are a certain number of a certain type of claims, then insurance companies are going to charge more to insure the house, right? So for example, if there are a bunch of water claims within the last couple years, they're gonna charge more to insure that house because they think there's a good chance that they're gonna have another water claim. It's not exactly sound logic, but it's a thing. So you wanna make sure that your, you know, your 100 or $120 a month payment doesn't double in size. Um, as far as the insurance goes. So want to make sure you get that squared away. And then uh, finally, you want to make sure that anything that your lender needs, you get to them quickly, right? Because at the beginning of this, uh, they're doing a pre-qualification. They get some basic documents to you, but then everything's going to go into underwriting. So this is when the guys that really say yes or no on this thing are going to look at everything. They're going to take a, a magnifying glass over everything. And you wanna make sure you get documents to them as quick as possible, because if not, it could slow down and delay closing. And in some cases, it could put your earnest money at risk. So you wanna make sure you get everything to your lender as quick as possible. And one other thing I would do is I would ask your lender, say, hey, this is everything I've got going on. Can you give me a good idea what my closing costs are gonna be? Because you wanna know those upfront in your option period when you still have the opportunity to back out. So now that you have a property, 
they can take a look at the taxes, they can take a look at the price and everything else and give you a very good estimate. So anyways, there's, uh, what is that? Like four, four or five homework assignments right there. But it, I know it's a lot um, and it's a lot that's probably gonna happen in the next week. But this is, like I said, the most intensive part of the home buying process. So anyways, if you have any questions, give us a shout. But once again, congratulations and we, work, we look forward to working with you throughout this process.